Welcome back to another edition of Chalk It Up Sports, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. Now, you guys, breaking news. Darius Slay is officially on the trade block. Now, how does that make you feel? Are you excited? Are you sad about it? Are you pissed off? Are you indifferent? I want to know what you guys think about that, so make sure you guys comment below. But I want to get into some of the details now. According to Diana Rossini from ESPN, she says the Philadelphia Eagles have allowed Darius Slay's agent, Drew Rosenhaus, to seek a trade per sources. The Eagles are still hopeful to find a solution where Slay remains an Eagle. So clearly the Eagles still want Darius Slay to be on the team, but it has to be at the right price. And he has to be willing to accept some level of a restructure and an extension that's favorable on both sides. But if they can't come to a resolution, Darius Slay has full permission to seek a trade and find the best situation for himself. Now, obviously, the Eagles aren't going to trade him for pennies on a dollar. It's best to get at least something for him so you can use that compensation in the upcoming draft. Will they get draft picks? Will they get a, a young player? You never really know. But again, it's important to make sure the situation makes sense for both sides. And personally, I'm of the mindset it's better to move on from a guy a year early than a year or two late. Because how many, how often have we seen the Eagles commit too much resources to aging veterans? We've seen it in years past, and I don't think Harry Roseman wants to go down that road again. I think Harry Roseman wants to continue to get younger while still maintaining a competitive edge uh, in the NFL. But here are some details. Uh, the league salary cap is expected to exceed $224 million in 2023, according to NFL Network's Ian Rappaport. And where, they, where things currently stand for the Philadelphia Eagles, they're expected to have roughly $8 million in cap space. Now, on top of that, the Birds are set to have 18 pending free agents. Obviously, C.J. Garner-Johnson, um, T.J. Edwards, um, James Bradbury, uh, Marcus Epps, you know, guys like that, Kaiser White, so on and so forth. Um, they're going to have a lot of free agents as well. And they have to potentially restructure some contracts in order to create some more cap space if they want to try to bring some guys back. They obviously decided not to franchise tag anybody, most notably C.J. Garner-Johnson. Um, the Eagles don't really use the franchise tag. Uh, the Eagles are really known for restructuring things and moving money around and kicking the can down the road, so to speak. Um, but if the Eagles decide to restructure Darius Slay's contract, that could free up about $12 million, um, on his current deal. But Slay's looking for an extension. An extension would help the Philadelphia Eagles cap-wise, but it has to be at the right price. Um, Darius Slay is 32, I believe, something like that. And I personally don't feel comfortable paying Darius Slay $17 million this year at the age of 32, where he's clearly starting to decline. I'm not saying Darius Slay is out of the top 10 of the best corners in the NFL. I'm not saying that. Darius Slay is still a top 10 corner, and you'll be hard-pressed to find 10 corners better than Darius Slay. But he's aging, and he has shown signs of aging throughout the season. He had a solid season. Don't get it twisted. And I'm not trying to campaign for Darius Slay to get kicked out the door. But what I am saying is, the Eagles had have a have a bad history when it comes to relying too heavily on aging veterans and committing too much money to aging veterans. I don't think Harry Roseman wants to go down that road again. That's my honest opinion. So again, it's better to move on from a player a year early than a year too late. And next thing you know, you're stuck with this guy and he has a contract that's killing your cap space. So a contract extension would help Darius Slay. It would help the Philadelphia Eagles, but it would have to be at the right price. And most definitely, they don't want that man on the books guaranteeing him $17 million this season. That's just the reality. And I wouldn't want that either. So what's going to happen to Darius Slay? Will, 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 he give you, will he be traded prior to free agency or over, free agency or over the free agency period? Will he be traded prior to the NFL draft or on draft night? There are so many unknowns in the situation. But best believe, Darius Slay is on the trade block, according to Diana Rossini. From ESPN, he and his he and his representation are allowed. They have permission to seek a trade where they see fit, and we'll see how this thing plays out. But I want you guys to comment below and tell me what you guys think about the situation. I'm your guy Tone the Shows the Second. You guys were locked in on Chalk It Up Sports, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got charged to the game. Smash that like button. One love. Stay humble. Stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry.